listeners and spectators, so let's groove with the smooth operator. I'm so smooth. Good afternoon, folks. I know you were waiting with bated breath to hear from your main made man, Stephen G. James, attorney at law and counselor. Well, I want to apologize. This is our very first podcast, and we've had a few technical difficulties getting things rolling up and running, but we're here now. And we plan to be here every Saturday at uh, around 12 1 p- 12 noon, 1 p.m., and we want to have interaction. You can ask legal questions. As you know, I'm an attorney, and I've been practicing law for over 31 years, former assistant district attorney, former prosecutor, and now in private practice, practicing criminal law. We do real estate. We'll be answering questions regarding a number of issues that concern you, and we'll be talking about current events, things in the news, things like Aaron Schlossberg. Uh, who's been called a racist, who went off the other day on two or three Latinas, Spanish-speaking women, and into a very, very horrific racial rant. He has recently been brought up on charges by the bar because of that and other issues regarding his character and fitness to practice law. And we'll be talking about a lot of other issues. The school shooting on yesterday, 10 people injured, 10 people dead, as well as injured. Um... Guns in the school, what is being done? You know, what's your position? What are your opinions? So this is going to be an informative and uh, provocative live podcast every Saturday, again, 12 noon to 1 p.m. And we want your participation. We want you to be involved. We want to see you in the place to be. From the man of the hour, the one with the power, he who is too sweet to be sour, Stephen G. James, your attorney at war, okay? So I definitely want your input. And if you have questions, legal issues that you're facing, while we can't go too deeply into anyone's personal issue on a live worldwide broadcast, we certainly will be able to give you at least some guidance and some heads up as to what you can do on a very uh, profunctorial level. Again, this is attorney at law, Stephen G. James, and uh, I'm broadcasting live from my New York City law offices for the benefit of of our people, you know, and the folks who are interested in topics that are relevant to our community and to the world at large. Praise be to God. And by the way, we make no moves. We do nothing of significance without the input of the Lord my senior partner. Oh, here he is right now. Thank you, Jesus. So with that said, anyone have any questions or issues that they like to discuss? Joe, I think we have some. I'd like to introduce you to, to my engineer. This is Joe, a little shy. <laughs> Joe Swift, tell the folks a little bit about who you are, Joe, and what we've been doing over the time period, the blogs, the, 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 the newspaper. Tell them who you are and where you come from and how you and I have been inter- interacting. Yeah, my name is uh, Joe Swift. I've been working with Stefan for the past two, three months now, um, helping him redo the website for the law firm, um, helping him with the live podcasts. I'm a graphic designer, web designer, mainly a photographer, but I do all those plus a little more. And I'm glad to be on this project with Stefan and the team and to uh, help them. Tell us about your newspaper. Oh, yes. Uh, how, also how have could a, you forget that? Yeah, how can I forget that? I have a local Queens newspaper called Our World on Suffer News, and the website is ourworldonsuffernews.com, or you can check out ourworldmedia.com, and uh, you'll and find... So you'll find articles by, written by Stephen G. James. Yes. I uh, write a blog, I guess you'd call that, yeah. for this newspaper uh, twice a month, and um, you know, you'll get more of the good stuff that you've been used to. And what you come here for from your main man okay so joe will be joining us um at least in the initial weeks every saturday we'll be getting this going and again addressing issues that are of concern to you joe do we have anyone writing in so far anything coming up uh we have two people i think or three people writing in okay uh we have oh joyce yeah how are you jt 
She says, hi there, good to hear your voice. Thank you, yeah, we, Joy, JT, I call it JT, and I, I hope that's okay with, with her. Um, that's my little nickname for Joy. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. We've been communicating online, but never heard each other's voice. I guess you have me at a disadvantage now, Joyce, because you can, you can hear me, but I cannot hear you. <laughs> and I know that's not a good thing. I really would love to hear you. So at some point, we're going to set up a, a two-way. We can also have input from the good people. But Joyce Thomas has checked in. Uh, Leonis Stefan, Stefan joined us. How are you? Um, Lady T, ah, in the place to be. You and me, baby. <laughs> it's very good to have all these nice people checking in. Does anyone have any um, questions or any topical issues you want to discuss? We're not going to do the full broadcast today. This is what they call a test broadcast, just to get all the wrinkles and crinkles out. That's why I have my man Joe, the engineer here. But Joe, come on screen so that people don't just see your shoulder. <laughs> Either get in or get out. <laughs> I was testing it out. Monitoring. Okay. All right, but I don't want your shoulder to be sitting uh, in the window. Um, but anywho, anyone had you know, if anyone has any legal questions or input, or you want to discuss something that's topical, like I said, issues that are, have been in the news, the shootings, um, some of the brutality cases. Uh, what else has been going on this week? So you know, much. That, the that school, crazy lawyer. The, schools, the school shootings yesterday in Texas, I think it yes. was. The crazy lawyer in New York. Um, and anything else that might be on your heart and on your mind. We got Bridget Barrett checking in. Hi. She says, hey, Mr. James, how are you, Bridget? I know you were out of town recently. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Welcome back. And uh, I hope you heard our intro. We're going to be having topical issues and discussions every week. From Saturday on Saturdays from roughly 12 to 1 or maybe 1 to 2. We're going to work that time schedule out as well. But we'll give you a heads up by Wednesday or Thursday of this yes. week as to a definite time period that you can tune into this podcast and uh, hear me wax eloquent on different topics. And also, I want your input as well. Se habla español aquí, Dasi Estrella de la República Dominicana. She's checking in. They give me the thumbs up. Yeah, I'm giving you all the thumbs up. And from the heart, Daisy Estrella de Puerto Plata, La República Dominicana, checking in. Como tu estas? Feliz sábado. <laughs> um, so I just want to let you know, we'll be doing this. Vas a conducir esta podcast semanal cada semana, los sábados, de 12 a 1 o 1 a 2, depending. Me voy a avisar a ustedes uh, no más tarde que el jueves o algo así, tú vas a saber. But I'm going to confer with my engineer, um, uh, Joe Swift. And uh, by Thursday, we'll let you know exactly when you can tune in. But we're here now, and we're going to be here for a good another 30 minutes. Is that good? Does that work for you, Joe? Uh, no? <laughs> 10 minutes? Well, uh, yeah. Okay, another, <laughs> another 10 or 15 minutes. But I'm so happy that the good people are checking in. Sabine French joined us. Hi, Sabine. How are you? Yeah, it's raining in New York, and it feels like... Feels like November instead of May. You know, today's what, May 19th, and we're getting 40 degree weather and rain. It feels like it's, we're going into the fall. So Sabine was lamenting that issue. Bridget, thank you. Thank you, baby. I need to hear that. How do I sound? Do I make any sense? Do I sound crazy? Am I talking to myself? So I need you all to give me some input, give me some feedback. What are your views on? Mr. Aaron Schlossberg of Manhattan, who feels that this is his country and he has the right to throw people out who speak a foreign language. I always thought it was good to be able to speak multiple languages. I speak n a number of languages, and uh, I know all the curse words in every language for sure, but I can speak a few languages quite proficiently. And if I went in there speaking, hablando en español con las mujeres, eh, esta muchacha va a botarme también de este país. But that, what the heck? I, I, you know, my ancestors built this piece. What is he talking about? So anyway, Schlossberg has his problems, but I'd like to hear from you guys. So Joe Swift is on the, on board. Okay, good. It's coming through. This is my my sound engineer, so it's coming through nice and clear, Joe. All right. So it seems like we only have the ladies today, which is fine with me. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think, or if there's any topics you want to discuss. Um, at least in the initial stages of this podcast. Uh, Daisy 
from, from the Dominican Republic. If you want to add something in Spanish or English, feel free. Sabine, Bridget, um, let me know. Who else is still with us, Joe? We have JT. Is JT still here? Scroll down. Let me see if JT is still with us. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have JT. All right. So is if, if there are any topics further um, that you want to discuss besides what I mentioned, you know, just, just write in. Yes, Bridget Barrett writes, he needs help. The man is an embarrassment. Yeah, he is an embarrassment to himself and to his family. He needs to be spanked uh, by his mama, uh, at least for starters. I know he's going to get spanked by two, uh, uh, I think it was congressmen uh, from New York, who wrote a complaint to the Bar Association about his uh, behavior and his threatening these people. You know, that that is something that is going to happen. And uh, it's a very serious issue that they raised, these two Latin senators who wrote this complaint about him. Um, Sabine writes, yes, his profession. He's, he, he, he pretends to be a lawyer, but he plays a bully in real life, especially when it comes to women. If you notice in the news, there were a number of incidents with this guy always attacking uh, foreigners, not necessarily Latinos, but certainly people who are from foreign countries and threatening them with ice, always walking around with his phone. That must be the new thing among the racists. You know, I keep my phone handy and I'll threaten to call Popo if, uh, if you get out of hand or if you speak a language I don't like or if you annoy me or if you're barbecuing. You know, what do you guys think about that crazy lady who called the police because the brothers were barbecuing in the barbecue area and she felt that they shouldn't use charcoal? She, I guess she wanted a George Foreman grill or something. Um, and when she called the police and they showed up, uh, they said, this is perfectly fine, lady, you're nuts. And she started crying, broke down crying because she didn't have her way. She didn't get these people arrested and taken away. Sabine French writes, as a proud bilingual American, he's crazy. Word to mother. That's right. I agree. I believe Sabine speaks more than two languages. You're more like trilingual. But I get what you're saying. I know you speak more than two languages. Um, so any more input? Any other issues or topics? We're going to be here every Saturday, you know, giving you what you need from the man of the hour, the woman of the power, Stephen James. He was too sweet to be sour. So I definitely want you guys to uh, tune in, okay? Saturday's at 12, it looks like, but we'll give you a definite time by Thursday. Au revoir, entonces. Um, she should be arrested. Ah, Bridget Barrett writes that, the, I guess that's the lady calling about the barbecues. Yeah, she should be. And all of these people, Bridget, Joe, Sabine, all of these people, Peter Gray, Sharon Key, all of these folks, I appreciate you checking in. All these people using their telephones and the police as a weapon against otherwise law-abiding citizens who are doing nothing, who are not breaking the law, and using that telephone to call the police when the police arrive and realize that they just wasted everyone's time and they're reporting things that are not crimes, yes, I agree with Bridget Barrett. They should be hauled off. They should be arrested. And that will stop that crap. But when the police show up and say, oh, there's been, but they're not doing anything. This is not a crime. And then walk away and leave these idiots just crying in their, in their wake, that's not going to stop them. Some action has to be taken for them wasting police time when the police could be doing something more creative with their time instead of answering false alarms because, you know, making a false police report is a crime. So, yeah, I agree with you, Sabine. They should be arrested. I agree with you, Bridget. She is an embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Peter Gray, Sharon Key. Um, we have all these good people checking in. Thank you. Again, we're going to be doing this. Um, Every Saturday at 12 noon or 1 p.m., we still have to hammer that time down. We'll let you know by Wednesday. We're doing a live broadcast uh, from my offices here in New York. Occasionally, I'll do it from Miami. But you guys know I keep you posted on everything I do. Oh, we have a caller. But guess what? Unless it's related to the topics that we're talking about, or unless it's related to somebody that's checked in, 
I'm not answering the phone because this time is your time, okay? So I'm not going to take your time and talk to anybody who's not related to what we're talking and doing. Okay. Hello, Sabine, she says. How does it sound? How, do, how, does, how does the um, the podcast sound? Ah, Sabine says, at the very least, they should get a fine. I agree. They should be fined, but I think at the very least they should be arrested because that'll stop them. It's just like when there's a police brutality case. Would you agree, Joe? Yes. That when, you know, it's a clear case of police brutality and then there's a lawsuit that's brought as a result, who pays? The taxpayer. You're held liable. Not the person who actually inflicts the pain and the suffering on the citizenry. No. It's the citizenry who gets to pay the fine through your tax dollars for police brutality. That's one of the reasons why it doesn't stop. But if they start holding the police responsible, the individual who actually inflicts the punishment and who's committing the brutality responsible by fining or suing them, by jailing them, by prosecuting that individual, then that's a check on that person's behavior. Just as it is in our behavior in a society at large. If you do the exact same things that these police do in the name of the government, you'd be arrested and charged yourself. They're not going to go and arrest your parents. They're going to arrest you. So why is it that when these people are committing police brutality on the citizenry, why is it that it's the citizenry who gets to pay the cost when they're found liable? So fines are good, but it has to be effective. I think the most effective thing is liberty. That's why when people get arrested, the first thing that they lose is their liberty. Talk to me, y'all. I'm here. Our tax dollars are always subject to Sabine French. It didn't come out clear. We got to send that again. But I'm glad and appreciate that you're telling you're telling me that the podcast sounds good. It comes too loud and clear. Um, I am using something called the Blue Moon microphone. Is that right, Joe? And the Blue Moon, uh, Blue wait, Snowball. Snowball. What the blue heck snowball. am I talking about? The Blue. Yeah, it's called the Blue Snowball microphone. And it is a very high quality studio caliber microphone that enables the broadcast to come through loud and clear. And because this is the very first broadcast, I definitely would like you guys to give me some feedback on the audio, um, the video, how are the visuals, things like that. Let me make sure I have the right lighting. Joe, I think we need to bring a light the next time. Yes, it was a little, a little better lighting. But because uh, I know these, these beautiful people want to see their main made man clearly. So, oh, this is, forgive me, I'm out of my normal, you know, wears and tears, but this is a Saturday broadcast, and, you know, with your permission, I want to come relax. So that's, this is my relaxed outfit, and I'll be relaxed on Saturdays, hopefully, um, unless I have to go to court or something in an unusual case on a Saturday, um, I'll be dressed more relaxed. I just want you guys to know that. But this is your, um, your main maiden man, Stephen G. James, attorney at law. And we can talk about, you know, any current events you want to talk about. Sharon Key just checked in. Sharon Key. Oh, Bridget, thank you. Clean and clear. Thank you. I owe it to the, the Blue Snowball microphone. Excellent microphone for podcasts. Um, it gives you studio quality if you're not in a studio. Sharon Key, how are you? She writes, yes, absolutely. Uh, Mr. James, he just destroyed his career as a lawyer. Many people... Uh, that saw him in action being racist will not want his services, and yet he's on the media running like a snake. Yes, well, that's what cowards do, Sharon. You know, um, and I was very, very uh, vocal and active in posting the um, antics of this guy and the aftermath. Now he doesn't want to talk. He claimed he wanted to be famous. You know, he claimed he had all this power. He said this was his country. Well, I think his world is crumbling all around around him because of his own ignorance and foolishness. You know, you reap what you sow. And in his case, he's reaping it very, very quickly. So, um, yes, it, people of good conscience, people of uh, good values will not use his services. In fact, and I want some of you out there to check this because I don't know directly and personally. I only want to deal in facts during this broadcast. But I would tell you that I believe he was kicked out of his office. I think the um, landlord of his office building barred him the very next day after this story broke. 
So he doesn't even have an office to work from. I think he's working out of a car or something now, out of a, out of a, what was he working out of? A U, an Uber. <laughs> yeah, he, he has to rent an Uber instead of an office, and he's working out of the backseat of an Uber right now. And the reason why he's using an Uber is because when those cameras show up, he wants to be able to take off. So he's the roaming, roving ex-lawyer to be. <laughs> ex-lawyer to be. According to reports, of course. I only want to deal in facts. So you guys check me on this, but I think he was kicked out of his office. I think he is a um, an officeless lawyer. So thank you, Sharon Key, for that. Um, Sabine writes that jacket should be sprinkling. Gold. Yeah, this is gold. This is actually uh, real gold on the jacket. It's just stripped down in gold. But it's. I think she says. I think she means sparkling, sprinkling. She'll write it again. She's, she's Sabine French, by the way, who's t checking in with us, has a show uh, that comes on. I think they recently changed the date, the days. It used to be on Thursday evening. Sabine, give me more information on that, please. But she has a show called Talk About It, an internet program. Very informative. I've been a guest on that show a number of times. Sabine, give me some more information so I can tell the people. Ah, it should have been sparkling instead of a sprinkling. It is sparkling, baby. You're trying to tell me it's not. <laughs> give me more information, Sabine, about your your uh, program, your internet program show, so I can let the, the listeners and viewers know. Okay. Yes, Sharon Key writes, oh, my God, loose lips sink ships. Right. He was going off, and for no reason. Nobody was talking to him. And he was telling the people that this is his country. They need to speak Spanish. He's going to kick them out. He's calling ICE. These were customers like him, people who were ahead of him ordering their food, and they were ordering it with a Spanish speaker on the other side of the uh, counter. And he just went off, butting in, didn't know what they were talking about, didn't know what they were saying. And you want to know something interesting about this guy, Sharon Key and everyone else tuning in? He in his advertisements for his for services was indicating that among other things he spoke spanish or spanish is spoken at his office for the services so he's trying to attract and solicit uh spanish speakers among other type of uh of of, of people of clients and then he goes out of his office right downstairs from his office not very far away the building is connected to this restaurant right downstairs and pulls this act of atrociousness. So loose lips do indeed sink ships. And thank you for that, Sharon Key. God bless you. Uh, Vincent McGirt, VMAC. How you doing, brother? VMAC, my man, is in, is, has just checked in. Um, in fact, the first male to ever check in on this show. Joe, we got our first man. I, I, for a minute there, I thought it was going to be ladies' Who's day. That? This is Vincent, Vincent McGirt. I see him. I, I, I affectionately call my brother V Mac. He, uh, he's a very insightful brother who um, has all kinds of good uh, views and opinions on current issues. V Mac, what is your view on what's going on with this crazy lawyer or with the uh, recent school shooting in Texas yesterday? Um, I know that you often have uh, a lot to say, you know, and, and about these type of issues because you're very, very uh, provocative. You, your mind is sharp. So give me some insight on what you feel about this. Now, now already the spin is in that he's uh, a loner, the shooter. The shooter is a loner. I see it. He's a, um, you know, he, 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 he's an angry young man. Uh, he needs to see psychiatrists. Everything but a criminal and a murderer and a killer and an animal. If you listen to your president, you know, he's very quick to call people of color who are accused of a lot less an animal. In fact, he said something recently about the uh, immigrants to this country that are being deported out as not human, but animals. Okay. Did you hear about that, Joe? I mean, you know, this is a current event See, show. You're going to, yeah, you're going to get the, the latest, hottest, top, most, most issue oriented topics discussed <laughs> on this podcast. And I also want the group to give me some names. What should I name this podcast? Okay. You know, something cool that fits your main made man. Um, so give me some suggestions on the name. You know, we want to call it more than the Stephen G. James talk talk hour or whatever. We want something befitting. So for the next week or so, I want you guys to think of a good name for the show, an official name, and the best ones I will entertain for sure, okay? Um, Sabine French's show is Talk About It. 
with Miss Sabine French. That's S A B I N E, last name French. And she speaks French, by the way. She's a beautiful Haitian sister. It's on Radio Media Personality. Oh, she's a radio media personality. And you can download this uh, broadcast at Music, M U Z I K V I B E, Music Vibe. The app is in your app store. And you can listen live on Wednesdays from 7 to 9. Wednesdays from 7 to 9. Talk about it with Sabine French. Tune in for that. It's a wonderful show. I've been on it several times and uh, very provocative, very topical, and very good issues that are discussed there as well. Vincent McGirt, VMAC writes, he needs to get life or, oh, he needs to get a life or get a wife. Well, I think he, his life as he knows it is going to definitely be changed. He's now known as an idiot. And that's not necessarily the bait you use to get a wife. And that's certainly not a sane, good wife. So he's going to have trouble in both those areas, VMAC, as you probably know. I know you're probably um, being sarcastic, but you're right. His right, wife prospects have dwindled substantially. Um, tell it like it is. Thank you, Sharon Key. We, we intend to do that. We intend to let the world know. That even sounds like, hmm, that sounds like the name of a show, doesn't it? Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. I like the way you think, Sharon Key. Thank you, SK. All right. Tell like that came quick. Okay, guys. I definitely want you guys to keep the the, the name of a show, the names, the, the suggested names coming. But I like Tell It Like It Is, Joe. It's even a song. Tell it like it is. Go on your own, baby. Hmm. Your little boy. Don't get me started. Y'all gonna get me all singing and stuff. I better stick to this serious business. <laughs> but anyway, um, Sabine French writes, you will be my guest on Wednesday, June 27th. Talk about a current event. Oh, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad you, I'm glad I know about that now. Okay. Just let you know. Yeah, she's like <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fine. You know how to get in touch with me and give me all the details. And I know you moved your studio, so you have to definitely lay it out for me. But um, June 27th, off the top of the cranium, sounds like between 7 and 9, sounds like a good time. I'll talk to, uh, to Deuce, and he'll make sure I get there. Thank you, Sabine. And who else is on? Uh, go, James. <laughs> Sharon, are these titles... Oh, are, the, are these statements? You're not let me know. I guess, well, go James. I guess that's a statement. So thank you. Go James. I definitely like tell it like it is. I don't know if that was a statement also, but that sounds like. Sounds like one that could be used. Yeah, that one, <clears throat> one. Joe likes it and I like it. So Sharon Key suggested that. I like that. Good one, Sharon. Yeah, Bridget Barrett agrees. She said that's a good one. Uh, tell it like it is. Joe, you better write that down because, you know. I got so many things on my mind. I want you to write down all the topics, I mean, all the titles that these good, good people um, are suggesting. And these are my main folks. Uh, Put that, it in my notes. Yeah, these, these, these are the main plays in, 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 in the law firm of Stephen G. James. And these folks have always been good. These are my good Facebook friends. And um, I value their opinion and what they're doing. So thank you, Sharon. Bridget seconds that. You're singing, Mr. Jane? No, 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 no. I just, when Sharon suggested that Tell It Like It Is title, it just conjured up that old, smooth R&B tune. Tell it like it is. But y'all know I can't sing, so I won't even try. <laughs> Sabine French agrees with the title, right? Um, I guess you didn't pencil it in, counselor. Well, I can't pencil in. I'm just hearing about it now, Sabine. However, when I come off air, I'll check my schedule for that day and time. But you'll call me off air as well, or you can text it to me. And I'll definitely uh, get it in there, okay? Joe's doing a lot of other engineering stuff right now. But I'll definitely, if you text me all the details and the information, we'll take care of it. And I'll certainly let people know um, by next week what the topic will be for that program. Uh, talk about it with Sabine French on the 26th of September of May. See, I think it's September because of the weather. But anyway, I'll let them know about it. I'll announce more details once you give them to me. Um, okay, so folks, I like to just get a, a little bit of a feedback. We're gonna wind it up now. 
and I just want to have a little bit of a feedback on what you thought of today's show. And if you'd like to hear more of what you heard, if you like what you heard, and uh, if you think this is the type of show that is topical and needed as a weekly podcast. And um, without you, there is no me. You already know how I feel about you. So if, if you guys don't give me the green light, I'm gone. I'm not going to you know, come here and waste anyone's time. But if this is something that you think is nourishment to the mind and that we need to hear and um, you know, it gives us a chance to interact and when you call, when you write in, I'll definitely you know, respond and read your answers and, you know, we'll interact. So if you think this is somewhere where you want to be on an early Saturday afternoon uh, with me, let me know. I need your feedback. Okay. So until then, may God bless you all and keep you all and protect you all. And we will do this again next week. And of course, my Facebook friends know that they can interact with me through Facebook, through Messenger, you know, whenever they want. Okay. I'm here. May God bless you, keep you, this is your main made man, Stephen G. James, saying I'm out. First show today. And I thank you all for joining in. Thank you, Bridget. Great start. Appreciate you, baby. That's BB. We're gone. <laughs>